Welcome back to another video, guys. Today we're going to be working on the 1992 Jeep Cherokee again. His name is Sylvester. That's what I called him. And we're going to be working on the rear brakes on this thing because we haven't changed any of the rear brakes. We just changed the front of it. The front brakes, anyways. So we're going to be changing out the back shoes on this thing. That way our e-brake will work now because it wasn't really better doing it before because the, these are low and the brake pedal will work better as well. So, yeah, we're going to tear into that if you want to join me and see how it's done. Yeah, just watch it until the end of the video. So yeah, with that all, let's get right into it. And like usual, first things first, we just gotta remove that wheel, like that, and then we can take a look what we got here. So we got our drum here, and there is a spacer in my Jeep. So I already took those uh, little nuts off, because that's this spacer will hold it in place if you don't take it off. And then it's a little bit rusty, so I might just touch it up with some black paint afterwards. But then, this one doesn't seem to be too on. Sometimes you have to kind of wiggle them and hammer them off with a hammer. I think I can just pull it off. There we go. Set it off to the side there. And there's our drum and all the shoe as well. So we got our we got new shoes for this thing and I think we got some new springs for it as well when we go to change it. So a good thing to do when you're going to change these out is t uh, take a picture of where everything is at least. So that way you don't forget where everything goes, and then we can start deassembling it, or unassembling it, right? <laughs> we can start taking it apart and start putting the new parts back in. All right, now you just want to start taking some of the springs out. You might have to use different tools as you go along, but slowly dismantle it piece by piece and get her out of there. There we go, we got it all dismantled. It's pretty self-explanatory. You just start pulling pins out and whatnot. Because there's a few things that you have to take the pin out, you like push the spring in, twist it, all that. And yeah, the hardest part is just putting it all back in the exact same way it came out. So <laughs> that's the hardest part, but it's pretty good. You just remember as long as you have the picture of it from the very beginning, you'll be fine and so now we're just maybe just clean up a little bit of the inside, just get rid of the dust, and then we'll put it right back in, back the same way it was, quick and easy, and just mimic everything you did to take it back out. All right, we got it all cleaned up. I added just a little bit of a spot of paint on it, just to keep some of, just to keep it a little more clean, and because we already did the undercarriage. And down here, if you guys can see, we I did a little template for you guys. So this is basically how it's going to be when it's up here on the drum. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have these things which hold it in place on these things hold it Hold the, the the shoes in place so they don't pop out. Let's say and then yeah You just want to make sure this is hooked up. You're gonna have to reuse some of this So this run this wire runs behind it. This hooks on to the the hole right here, which is right here and You just want to copy it all in order. You're gonna have to reuse this piece right here, too and Just hook it up and this spring holds the bottom to close, and then this thing is the tensioner, which goes in place there, and this holds the tension. So it's kind of, just kind of work it as together, and yeah, this just holds the front apart just enough. So yeah, you just basically copy what you did up there. It's kind of simple, I don't know if you can use that. But with that all done, guys, let's get started, and let's put it all together.
And there we go, guys. We got it all in. Got everything done. We got the new shoes on each side, the new springs. And it was just definitely hard to fit it all in there without it falling side to side. So it's definitely a project, but just put exactly the way you took it back out. You get it one piece at a time, kind of hold it in and hold it in. I recommend maybe putting these ones in because those things are what hold it in place. Just put those two in first and then you can figure out all the the wiring as well. So just make sure you get everything in there. And you might have to try it a few times, but you'll get it. And yeah, and also for some reason my spring, my wire line here was loose. It got looser or something. So I just twisted it around a few circles, which tightened it up. So that might be a little trick, maybe not, but yeah, we got all done. Now we just gotta put the drum back on, get on there and get the tire on and we'll be all done. Alright, there we go, and also one thing, after you do that, you're going to want to adjust the, the shoes. So, what you're going to do is you're going to fit just a regular old screwdriver in there, and just, because there's an adjuster in there, and you just kind of tweak up, and it'll go click, 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 each time you move the screwdriver, and you'll, you'll feel it click inside, because there's just that one spinner that you saw, and you put in there. So that adjusts the brakes out, and then eventually, you'll hear it to where you can there's resistance all against the the drum itself and you can hear the drum uh the the shoes dragging inside the drums because that's when you know because that's when they're all set and it'll give you a nice good pedal and they'll actually work better and that's the way to do it so once that's done we'll put our little pluggy back in because we already did it put our plug in uh, there we go okay cool now just throw a tire on there and we'll be done. All right, there we go, the wheel's on. And we are done with the back brakes. We got the rear run, all the rear runs done. I actually did the other side as well. And yeah, we got them both done. And now the pedal feels awesome and it feels more reliable every single time we do something to it. So yeah, thanks for staying with me this far. Please subscribe, we have lots of stuff going on. We got that Ford over there, we're building that. We got this Jeep over here, we got a Volkswagen, all that, so. Yeah, thanks for staying with me, and I will see you later, my fellow humans. See y'all.